Hello everyone, welcome to The Patient Warden. My name is Chef Andre Ward. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache can be used for many desserts and confections such as truffles, cakes, cupcakes, tarts, you name it. There are endless applications to the staple. But enough yapping, let's get into the recipe. I'm gonna start by pouring 370 grams of chopped 60% chocolate into a plastic bowl. Next, I'm going to partially melt the chocolate in the microwave. Next, add 40 grams of honey and 250 grams of whipping cream into a sauce pot. Place that on the stove and turn on high heat. Once the mixture comes to a boil, immediately pour over the melted chocolate. The most important step in this recipe is the next one, and that's emulsifying the ingredients together. This can be kind of tricky, so I'm gonna show you this in real time. Uh, that way you can see how long this actually takes. Using a white whip, begin mixing in the center of the ganache in a tight circle. This will form what we call the eye of the ganache, uh, which is the center. Uh, this is what holds the ganache together. It'll, it will prevent it from breaking apart. Once the ganache is nice, shiny, and silky smooth like this, put 70 grams of soft butter into a bowl, add some of the warm ganache to the butter, and mix well until combined. With this process, I'm trying to create an environment for the butter, that way it can mix into the ganache easily. Add the butter and chocolate mixture to the ganache and mix until completely homogenous. And that's pretty much it. From there, you can use this in any application as you please. If you wanna use it for a layer in a cake or make chocolate bars or whatever, just simply pour it into a mold and let it set. Here, I'm pouring it into a container. No matter the application, the ganache needs to set at least 12 hours to fully crystallize. But before I put this up, I need somebody to taste test this for me. Hmm, who can I get to taste this for me? If y'all follow me on social media, y'all know I have a little crump snatcher running around here somewhere. Let me see if I can find him and Use them for my taste tester. Yep, here he goes. And by the look on his face, I can tell he's a happy camper. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for me today. I appreciate the support. And as always, please hit that like button, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is The Patient Warden. Once again, signing out.